Throughout the weekend, the Wabash Valley Amateur Radio Association used only generators, radios, and other methods to communicate. One of the main reasons for this exercise was to help prepare for situations in which cell towers may lose service or power is lost. From the Hoosier State to the other side of the earth, the Wabash Valley Amateur Radio Association has been working to make contact with as many people as possible using amateur radio or ham radio. It was part of the amateur radio field day. Many individuals stayed up overnight attempting to grab a signal from different corners of the earth. I think we've hit Australia. Uh, it really depends. We had guys working all night, and uh, when the night comes, uh, the other side of the world kind of opens up due to the, the sun being uh, in a different, you know, being different locations. So when it goes down, propagation changes uh, so we can activate different, different places. Others say this is more than a contest with others across the country, but it's a way to test our equipment for emergency situations such as hurricanes, floods, and fires. Just a couple of years ago, Puerto Rico absolutely devastated uh, with hurricanes, and the only method of communication they had were ham radio operators uh, who went down there and stayed there for months on end communicating. There are challenges when communicating with people from different countries like time and language barriers, but in ham radio, they don't run into these situations as often as you may think. Typically, guys are on the, on, from different countries, a lot of them speak English if they're in ham radio. Uh, I'll get on, I'll hear guys speaking Spanish, and I'll call in, and then they, they'll be speaking English. And so it's just a matter of, uh, of uh, if they have, uh, if they're multilingual. According to Sedgwick, radio field days only happen twice a year, but they're always developing their skills. We will get together. We have club meetings once a month, and we will uh, share ideas. We'll have speakers come in to give us different information about what we can do to better communicate with our radios. Over the past two days, the group was able to make contact with over 1,100 people from across the world.